What's up guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to be installing a watt box on the Speed 3. Uh, this is for a Gen 2. I think the only thing with the Gen 1 is just the um, the colors of the wires vary. Um, but this is for the Gen 2. Should be pretty straightforward. It's just like five wires and a ground. Um, so this is it, we got this from Shed Built Motorsports. Thank you, Pat, for sending this out. Uh, we're gonna get this thing hooked up, and then I have my split second control to do, and then she'll be ready for the dyno, which I'm hype about. Sorry for the glare, guys, but first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove your glove box. Um, there are two mounting points with uh, nine millimeter bolts or screws, whatever you wanna call them. One right here, then one right here. Uh, the bottom one's in the middle, and then top left. It just pulls right out, um, and then you have this light bulb that's going to sit on the top. I just took off the screw. Uh, you can pinch these two tabs here and take it off. Uh, it was just easier with the screw for me. After that, you see the Gen 2s have this big ass gaping hole here. You just push out the grommet uh, that seals it. We're going to uh, use a drill bit just to make a hole and then feed the wires through that. On the Gen 1s, I think there's already a grommet here with some wires going through there. So you just like poke a hole in there and feed the wires through that. This is what it looks like in the inside. Uh, just push these tabs in and just pop it out into the engine bay. And then take this uh, heat shield, kind of bend it back and you can weasel this thing out of there. Uh, we're going to put a uh, drill bit through, probably just right in the middle. Should be good. We're gonna use this drill bit. It's either a 15 over 64 or it's a quarter inch uh, drill bit. Uh, we're going to just go smack dab in the middle because there's only four wires that you need. You really don't need that big. So I think this should be good. So this is what we have so far. All the wires, the five wires are gonna feed through. Uh, this actually seals pretty well already, uh, but we'll probably put some seal in here just to be safe. The black wire for the ground, you're gonna wanna leave, don't even bother feeding it through because we're going to ground the wire um, inside the cabin. First wire we're going to do is the green wire. This goes to your uh, clutch pedal position. And if you're looking at the ECU like this, it's the very bottom right hand, uh, this one's actually white uh, wire. So we're going to snip it and then we're going to solder this one in and onto the next. Next wire we're going to solder is a blue wire on the uh, harness for the watt box. That's going to go to this orange wire. It's going to be top row and this guy right here. So fifth over from the right side, top row, one, two, three, four, five. You got this orange wire. Next is going to be the yellow wire from the watt box harness. Now on the left side of the ECU, um, it's going to be the third row from the top and then count over, starting from the right side, count over six, and you'll get this little white wire. Be very careful with this. Just to make my life easier, I'm actually going to extend this little white wire, um, just because it's such a small area to be working with, and you don't have much, uh, much slack already. Um, so I'm just gonna extend it with this little bit of green wire, uh, and then just so it's a easier install. Okay, so there we go. We have our little addition. Uh, we have a couple shrink wraps to go around it. And that was pretty stressful. Last but not least, for the uh, red and the orange, you're going to want to find this connector that goes to your uh, coil harness. And it's gonna connect like this on the very bottom row, second from the right, you see this little teal wire. You're gonna to want to cut that in half. Uh, Leave yourself like an inch or so. I'm gonna cut it like right here. You're gonna splice this in half. The side that's still connected to the harness, you're going to solder the orange wire to that. And then on this side, you're going to wanna to solder the red wire to that. So basically you're just intercepting it. So this is what that kind of looks like. The side that's still connected to the uh, connector here, orange wire, other side, red wire. Just got back. Went to uh, my local Ace Hardware. Get seven feet, I had, they only had half inch. Um, even smaller would be fine, uh, of just flex tubing. And seven feet is actually perfect. I got 14 just cause I don't know how much I'd need. It's good to have for the future reference cause I don't have any at the house. 
But seven feet was perfect. We went all the way back to the firewall here, as you can see, right up to that uh, little grommet area. And we had enough to go all the way around here. Uh, we had some left over. We stopped here at the ECU harness and we had a little bit extra to go um, kind of splice in here to go to this coil harness uh, plug right here. All we have to do now guys is just do the ground wire and then program it. Uh, and yeah, this is really so far it's just soldering wires. Make sure you find the right wire. That's pretty much it. I pulled a little extra slack for the red and the orange wire um, just because it does split up there in the engine bay. So I just pulled the slack in through here. I mean, if you wanted to, you could cut it um, back a little bit, but I didn't know how much I wanted to cut it. So I just did this, it's easier. Okay, so we have our ground wire right here. And I fed the, uh, the uh, harness through this, uh, there's already a hole up here. There's actually two of them. Just throw it through that and we'll leave the watt box here in the glove compartment. And I'm pretty sure that's all. Now we just have to uh, program it. In regards to programming the watt box, uh, I recommend just watch the uh, Tune by Nishan's video because that's what I'm going to be following anyway. So might as well just hop it over his channel. He explains it in heavy detail of what it does, how to set all the parameters up, and to program it correctly. 